Hey, it's Hammer Time. Well, on this episode of Hammer Time, it's a great treat to have Governor Fife Simonton. Uh, Governor, uh, you, in my opinion, were not only one of the all-time great governors in Arizona, but I believe you're one of the best governors to ever serve in that position in the United States. And this is the reason why. You kicked off the party 25 or so years ago on the importance of having competitive income tax rates. Well, you're, I appreciate the, uh, your bias, <laughs> but uh, I've always believed that the reduction of marginal tax rates um, has an enormous impact on a state's economy. One of the, the, the signals that you send when you reduce marginal tax rates is that to, it, it, you're, you're paying respect uh, to your hard-working citizens, the people of the state that are out there earning a living, whether it be a small business or a big business, you're basically tipping your hat and just saying, you know, we, we respect you and we're, we're, we're going to tread lightly uh, on the tax front. And, uh, and by doing that, you encourage investment capital to come into the state, which is, you, you know, but before you have a job and create jobs, you have to have investment capital. And, uh, and that's why keeping marginal tax rates low is so important because you'll invite that capital in, it'll create jobs and new industries. And, and I remember when you went down that road, th this is not just theoretical. The jobs started coming in because I remember in Arizona, we would read, you were attacked viciously, Governor, by California politicians. I remember Willie Brown oh, yeah, going yeah. at you because so many jobs uh, and, and big companies, small companies, medium-sized companies were coming to Arizona because of that signal and that tr actual change in our tax policy. Yeah, that's correct. When we, um, we moved the uh, Hughes uh, Missile Division out of San Diego to Tucson, which is now um, uh, Raytheon, Raytheon made the, the cruise missile capital of the world and it was all because of our uh, on a side by side we showed them that they could operate at about 20 25 percent uh, more efficiently uh, by being in in tucson so they they moved and um, i'll never forget that and then pete wilson called me up who was governor of california and yelled and screamed at me and said well you've got to stop taking and i said hey pete if you're so upset our border's open. You come to Arizona and try to recruit any company you want. Be my guest. I, I do want to spend a couple minutes on what you did in terms of education reform and school choice. A lot of the charter reforms yeah. that now have spread all over the country happen in large part because of your leadership and during your time. Yeah. I, I came to the realization after trying to uh, enact some reforms within the public education system that it's so burdened down by uh, all the political constituencies and rules and regulations and bureaucracy that it, it's immutable. It was very, you, you couldn't really change anything without uh, creating a, a furor. And so I came to the realization that what, what the public education system needed was a, they needed competition and charter schools represented a vehicle to create competition. Fast forward to, to today, Dr. Matt Ladner's uncovered that our charter system as a whole performs better than just about any system in the country, uh, mm -hmm. including Massachusetts. And our all of our public schools now are making more progress over the last decade or so on the nation's report card than any other system. So it's oh, it's know. it's working for that's, all our that's kids. That's great. Well, it's for the children, and you know, and. It is working. That's really great. I know there are a few failures that the press likes to jump on, but, but charters are doing well in this state. Governor, uh, my final uh, couple of questions. Uh, you've, you've, if, if there's a definition of a renaissance man, served in the military, pilot, uh, uh, very successful business person, a great governor, also a great uh, pastry chef. I love, pa I love pastries. How do you do it? my sugar tooth, to my sweet tooth. <laughs> what would you encourage young people as they pursue their careers? How, what's, what, what are some of the, what's some of the advice that you would give to them? I encouraged all my kids to go to cooking school right after college. I said, you know, take a, take a year or a year and a half out. You'll never regret it. Uh, it's a very useful and wonderful thing to learn how to, how to function in a, uh, in a commercial kitchen. And, um, and uh, wherever you travel in the world, it, it'll broaden that experience because you'll be so aware of the, of the culinary world. So I, uh, that's why I started the, the culinary school and, uh, and uh, the Arizona Culinary Institute because I just felt that it was a, a great thing to educate and turn 
change people's lives, really. On that note, Governor, that thank you for your leadership and th thank you for all that you've contributed to uh, make Arizona a great state. We want to keep it that way. Thank you, Glenn.